So hello everyone, and today we have with us Mr. Akash Arora, a full stack developer at Value Pitch E Technologies. So Akash, welcome to our channel placement interview. And before moving ahead, tell us something about yourself. Uh, so yeah, hello everyone. So my name is Akash Arora, and currently I'm working as a full stack developer at uh, Value Pitch E Technologies, uh, now in Mumbai. So right now for the COVID, uh, I'm currently working from home, but yeah, obviously in uh, future, uh, obviously I've been working from Mumbai itself. So uh, yeah, so I have, after, uh, I have done my bachelor's in computer science. And after that, I've done various uh, jobs related to like uh, either directly or indirectly related to software jobs. Like I start as a tester and then I move to a general software engineering job. And currently I'm working as a food sector. Full sector developer, yeah. So right. Okay, so bring us about the company you're currently working with. So yeah, uh, so uh, basically, uh, in software there are various product based as well as service com uh, companies as well. So every company has their different uh, models or businesses. And uh, my company is working in uh, basically background verification check. So what we have, so we have a large amount of public data domain. And uh, for that, uh, uh, we have a specialized uh, teams for data science team, as well as we have a blockchain teams, a dedicated team for blockchain technology as well. So, uh, so uh, basically uh, our company has variant uh, clients like uh, Mumbai police is one of our uh, main clients. And uh, we are uh, moving towards two international clients as well. So let's say uh, whatever the case is registered in our country, like uh, in a high court or Supreme Court, it's uh, always be registered in our system as well. And apart from that, uh, uh, as I said, there is a vast amount of legal data. We have a, a various background verification checks, for example, like Mumbai police can uh, easily use our software and easily can detect you whether a person has a criminal record or not. So yeah, so we have we have different different products, different different teams for that. So you know, one of their products I am currently working with. So, so. Okay. <clears throat> so could you please elaborate on your job profile specifically? So as I said, I started as a full. I joined Value Pitch Technologies as a full stack developer here. So basically in full stack, uh, whatever the requirements and whatever the changes uh, is given to us, I have to make sure that the changes and uh, should be work properly. For front end, we are using uh, Angular technology, like uh, uh, basic Angular technology and some in some products they are React as well. And for back end, we are using uh, uh, Node.js, Nest, Express to create servers and to store our data, we have uh, two databases. One is MongoDB, which is a non-relational database. And uh, in one of our products, we are using PostgreSQL, uh, PostgreSQL database as well. So yeah. Okay, so could you please tell us about the interview process and how was the question and answer at your company? Yeah, so uh, not only my company, I will generalize that what kind of interviews that uh, the freshers are currently preparing for general software engineering jobs. Let me tell you what uh, every IT company has a specific part, right? So uh, one is uh, uh, one is known as the basic uh, programming checks, like basic how a good a can a candidate is in uh, programming fundamentals. Uh, for uh, programming fundamentals, uh, like uh, we are talking about data structures and algorithms, right? Because these are the like the core fundamentals of programming. So one of, if one of a candidate is very good in data structures and algorithms, he will make sure that whatever the code he writes, it will be a very optimized code and very clean code, right? So nobody wants a software engineer who writes a very buggy and messy code. Everyone wants that whatever the code is writing in their product, it should be clean, it should be well optimized. And obviously, you know, uh, you don't want, uh, let's say, uh, let me give an example that you are using Zomato, right, to order something for you. Okay. So you don't want that, uh, like, uh, you don't want that uh, if you are using and you just tap a button to order something and it will just reloading and just uh, nobody wants that. Yeah. Nobody wants a slow application. Everyone just wants to to write their application in very fast and optimized way. So
so for that uh, uh, a candidate should be very good in data structures and algorithms for data structures they can prepare for various uh, platforms like hacker rank code check processes another is the basically how many tech stacks uh, an interview you known that uh, if you know for back end for back end uh, in it we have different like uh, there is a java spring boost framework and now most of the startups are uh, working in golang as well they are basically shifting their whole product code base to java to golang this golang is very much new and uh, very new technology in the domain so yeah so everyone has their uh, basically uh, tech stack so if anybody is preparing for the interviews i will much say that he should prepare for the programming fundamentals he should make sure that he should know various databases like at least a one database should be in depth because uh, obviously every application has a database right so yeah so overall i must say go for the basic fundamentals your programming fundamentals are strong apart from that a one database should be there and apart from that some text stacks must be known for general software i think i think that must be enough to crack, crack any jobs yeah. <clears throat> uh, so as you know the skills are really very much important in any of the profession nowadays so throw yeah, us yeah. a light upon some of the skills that are needed for this job and the resources for gaining such skills okay so for uh, like i said obviously programming fundamentals for that uh, they can use various online platforms as i said that there is a hacker rank there is a core chef and there is another site is known as geek for this that many of the software engineers are using for their tech interviews right so uh, for the skills uh, they can use basically uh, obviously everybody is online and there is a vast amount of free resources available i think don't go for paid courses because they generally are very costly for the students i i can like it's very difficult for them to arrange the uh, money to and to go for the paid courses they are already paying in their btech as well right so it's very difficult for them right so i think go for the unpaid courses for uncode unpaid courses there are var various youtube channels like uh, programming with mosh and uh, code with harry there is very good channels they are they are doing just uh, stuff they are free right so why don't go for why you are going for the paid courses right but if you are thinking that no uh, no if this is not working out for you i think you should go for the paid courses for paid courses we have various like an academy coursera and even iits are launching their own uh, paid courses as well as an academy is there and uh, uh, there is a coding ninja coding blogs Uh, so yeah there are also available paid courses but before paying for the paid courses uh, you should check that what they are teaching to you and is there it is also relevant to the industry aspect as well because sometimes when a students like uh, go for the paid courses uh, it sometimes that it's obviously not matching with the industry aspect well. right right so yeah so i think that's for they can go okay. yeah All right. So, any tips that you want to give us to our audience, which is relevant to your profession? Yes. Ah, uh, many of times that I've seen in freshers, right? That uh, uh, like students when they start as a fresher, they jump from one programming language to another programming language very frequently. This is a very big mistake because if you are jumping from one programming language to another, it will definitely not gonna benefit to you. Okay, right. So, let's say if uh, uh if you are uh, go stuck with the one programming language you should go stuck with only that programming language you should understand the programming aspect of that not you just learn the syntax of that that is not programming right for that uh, just go with any programming language you want and after that just uh, start uh, go with their basic fundamentals right just start uh, implementing data structures and algorithms with that particular programming language the second mistake that i have seen in many freshers is that like uh without clearing their basic fundamentals they immediately thought let's do this technology like do, let's do the machine learning and let's do the blockchain technologies i know these technologies sounds very cool and obviously everybody wants to learn them but uh, don't go for that because if your basics are not so let's say you are not very good at uh, uh, programming you are not very good at data science and algorithm you don't as you don't know how to write a clean code optimized code well written code You don't know every aspect of that. You just uh, switch to blockchain technology, right? 
So obviously you know the theoretical aspect of blockchain, but company don't need that. Every organization want that. Even a blockchain developer of their programming fundamentals are strong. That many of the pressure do these mistakes and they jump from one technology to another technology very frequently. I think these one of the two three mistakes I have seen in freshers. And any uh, any person or any uh, wants to join this IT sector, IT, IT domain, just. Uh, go with the fundamentals i'm i'm just much assured that if you are comfortable with the fundamentals that if a bar is particular set is uh, upon high then you can switch and you can think about let's say yeah 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 i have uh, i have done sufficient uh, some sufficient amount of work done is there and i can switch to blockchain even i am thinking to switch in blockchain i am very interested in because uh, in it sector Obviously, you have to be very updated and very you have to be very uh, in order to survive this IT industry. You have to you don't know uh, that when a technology disappear in the market, so you have to update update itself. So it's a very uh, fruitful career, I must say. Like yeah, the salary part is very good in software engineering jobs. Like Amazon is paying like so many good startups are paying a lot of um, uh, money for this, even for pressure level as well. So yeah, so these are some of the guides that I want to give to the freshers that they are working for the general software engineering jobs. Yeah. So. All right. So before ending this, uh, what has been your experience overall working with this company? Um, so far so good. I think the company is giving a lot of experience to me. There are so many dedicated teams they already have. Like I said, they have a dedicated team for blockchain technology. They have a dedicated team for Python uh, for data analytics team as well there. So yeah, so far so good. I'm learning a lot even, uh, although I don't have very much experience, yeah, but still there's very learning opportunity and yeah. So overall it's a very good experience. I must say. All right. So it was nice talking to you. Thank you so yeah. much for your time. Yeah, thank you so much, Sonia. Thanks for this interview. Yeah.